Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, How are you guys? Is everything okay? Yes. Come in. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Just start. I thank you. Okay. Thanks, fine. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to start? Yeah. I'm ready to start. Yes. Yes. Ready. Okay. Okay. Let's begin. I'm going to start, and I will pass the tenants. Remember, once you listen to your name, say present, please. Here we go. Alberto Espinosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Francisca. Present teacher. Here. Vicky Garcia. Vicky Garcia. Okay. Continue. Astrid Diaz. Present. Thank you. Astrid Muñoz. Present. Betsy Avalos. Present. Thank you. Betsy Flores. Here. Cesar Martinez. Present. Thank you. Cesar Arriola. Yes, teacher. Thanks. Claudia Ramos. Present. Thank you. Salida Galicia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Delmi Peña. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ernesto García. Present, teacher. Thanks. Stephanie Sea. Present. Good. Elina. Elina. Present, teacher. Great. Iliana Alvarado. Present, teacher. Hold on. Iván Patriz. Present. Okay. I think I forget. I forgot someone. Let me go back. Harrison Rodriguez, yeah. Present, teacher. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Yeah. Joanna Navarro. Present teacher. Thank you. Olga Espinosa. Present teacher. Thanks. Evariento. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Dr. Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks. José Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Carvalho. Present teacher. Great. And Karen Mujiba is here. Karen Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Granados. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Present. Carla Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. And Carla Rosa. Rosa. Okay, okay. again I mentioned out. Again I mentioned out. Okay, we all have a solid server. Oh, um, let me see. I forget what I want to, want to say. Um, well, uh, I'm going to take the screenshot. Please, everybody, can you stick on the camera? Please. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. Thank you. All right. Um, oh, ya me acordé que iba a preguntar. Han enviado todo su, su formato para la inscripción del siguiente módulo. Sí, no. No, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. Yo sí, yes. 
Okay. Yo también, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yo también. Perfecto. No se nos olvide que aún hay tiempo. Todavía pueden uh, mañana, fin de semana incluso, y el lunes. Thank you, Esther. Yes. No se les olvide. El lunes es el último día, es la fecha límite, así es que debemos de enviarlo antes posible. Well, we're going to begin. And let me see. Is everything okay with the platform? Oh, almost going to the platform. Okay. Ready, teacher. Okay. Hey, uh, today we begin with the last session, session number five in the platform. And this is the fourth week. Okay. Ahora iniciamos con la semana cuatro, la semana cinco, como ustedes saben. Ah, por cierto. Teacher, eh, vamos a terminar la, la semana siguiente completa. Miércoles, terminamos miércoles. Recuerden, ah, okay. que, recuerden que se distorsionó por la vacación. Ajá. No porque Ajá, íbamos, vale. siempre íbamos de lunes a jueves, de lunes a jueves, pero por la vacación se distorsionó los días, así es que vamos de, prácticamente vamos de martes, de martes a jueves. Sí, martes a jueves. Entonces tendríamos eh, lunes, martes y miércoles. Lunes, martes y miércoles, exacto. Okay. Y el martes, repito, el martes debe estar ya completado todo en la plataforma. Okay. Ah, incluso el final test, el final exam, que ese es el último que vamos a hacer. Ah, repito, yo sé que algunos ya ya completaron, así que muy bien, excelente, no se preocupen, igual si quieren seguir practicando, les recuerdo lo que les dije ayer, lo que he dicho en las clases anteriores, si por ejemplo tuvimos un, es un ejemplo, si tuvimos un, algún porcentaje bajo, podemos seguir intentando, la idea es que practiquen, que practiquen con los ejercicios de la plataforma, veamos los vídeos, eh, en este caso, observemos los videos y podamos reforzar más. Por supuesto que vamos a estar subiendo más, practicando más, a crear dudas, etc. Cualquier cosa que ustedes quieran preguntarme referente a, al módulo, referente a la plataforma, lo pueden hacer. Entonces, libre. Okay. Empezamos a la hora. Ok. Let's continue. Let me see. Se me volvió a olvidar algo, otra cosa que iba a decir. Bueno, vamos a seguir, si se me acuerdo, les digo. Ok, uh, this is the topic for today. The statements with the pass of B. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. This is session number 13. And next week, as I said before, we're going to end with the course. We finish on Wednesday, 24th, okay? I'm sorry, 28th, 28th. That will be next week. We have time. And we're going to finish with the whole sections. All right, like I said before, this is section number five. We're going to talk about the pass of B. Let's begin. Okay, the, the pass of B has two forms. And what are those forms, was and where. Someone asked me yesterday about was and where. So now we're gonna talk about was and where. Alguien me preguntó ayer por was and where. Okay, ahora lo vamos a ver, como dije ayer. Was and where. That is part of the simple past. We're talking about past. The past will be. What is it, the, the verb to be in, in simple present? Do you remember? Um, or yeah. in, in this, yeah. Yes, exactly. This is the impression, the verb be, the verb to be. Has, is once, and where. Okay, so let's talk about that. What are the formulas? What are the formulas 
or a structure as a we follow. I want to pay attention to the picture, this picture, because we analyze in the timeline how those specific tenses change. Quiero que prestemos atención a la, a la pequeña ilustración. Esa es la forma como va ocurriendo cada tiempo. Okay. We have present. Present is in the middle. We are in the present. Okay. If we go back, we are in the past. Okay. And then we have the future. Okay. Look at the picture. He is tall. He is tall. So let's say some, um, I would say 10 years ago, 10 years ago, 10 años atrás, he was short. We're talking about this guy. He is tall. In the present, he is tall. And he was short in the past. If we go back, let's say 10 years ago or 20 years ago, the man was short. The man was short. This is guy. So in the present, he is tall. Okay. And then we had the future, right? But that is something that we're going to discuss soon. Now let me give let me give you the structures. We follow, and today we're going to talk about affirmative and negative form. With affirmative form or the positive form, we follow this structure. We have the subject plus was or where plus a complement. That is an affirmative form. And we can say, for example, I was a student, uh, let's say 10 years ago. I was a student 10 years ago. Now I am a teacher. That is the way we contract. Has and present. Esa es la forma como contrastamos el pasado y el, y el presente. I was a student 10 years ago. I think I was, let me see. I was in the, in the first year, yeah, of high school. I was in high school 10 years ago, yeah. So now I am a teacher. Okay, I was a student 10 years ago. Now I am a teacher. Okay. Another example. My father was young. My father was young. He is, I want to contrast, he is. I will put this in parentheses. He is 52 years old. Okay, my father was young. My father was young. He is 52 years old. So now he is old. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, is that correct if I say he has 52 years old? No, that is incorrect. Okay, okay. In, in English, we say he is. He is. Okay. Um, let's say 25 years old. He is or she is 60 years old. In English, it's, it's okay. different. Yeah. In English, it's, it's, it's muy diferente. No podemos decir he has. Como en español, tengo 26 años. Okay. No se puede. It is the same when you say, for example, this is X, okay? You say he is old. He is cold. Right? You don't say he has cold. Has cold. Well, if you say he has cold, as you remember, he has cold is different. He has cold. 
What is the difference? He is cold. In Spanish, we say, tengo. Él tiene frío. Tiene frío. Okay? He is cold. But if you say he has cold, he has cold, he's different. What is that? Do you remember? Porque en pasado. I'm sorry? Porque en hat. In this case, the statement is impressive. Él tiene frío. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm, no es, exactly, exactly. No es exactamente frío, sino que es... Oh, salud, es está mal de salud. Exactly, that problem. He is cold, and not frío. We don't say he has, he has cold. We, we say okay, he is cold. Okay, okay. okay let's, let's continue, sorry. Another example. Yeah. This is an, another example. Okay. You can say, my brother was born in February 2nd, 1991, okay? That is the way. Or, my mother was born in Calatenango, okay? That is past, past. Questions about this? Preguntas acá. Okay. Continue. Let's go with negative form. Negative form, examiner, we have the subject, but we have wasn't or weren't. Wasn't or weren't. That's a compliment. And let me explain this. We have contractions, as you know. Contractions. Was not, you can say subject plus was not plus compliment. Or you can say subject plus wasn't plus compliment. Or were not is or not equals weren't. You can say subject plus were not plus complement, or subject plus weren't plus complement. So both are correct. If you use contractions or you use a long form, it's okay. okay. But again, as, as we said in the previous sessions, if you use contractions when, you, when speaking, you can speak fast, okay? Por lo general, las contracciones se, se utilizan para poder uh, hablar un poco más fluido, como decimos, hablar un poco más rápido. Eso nos ayuda, nos ayuda a hablar más rápido, más fluido. Contracciones se usan más que todo, aunque las utilizamos también en oraciones. Um, puede ser en oraciones o cuando estamos teniendo una conversación. Estamos escribiendo, como dije en la clase, las clases pasadas, estamos haciendo o escribiendo algún texto académico no se pueden utilizar con terceros, okay? Let me give an example. Negative form. My mother wasn't a doctor. Now is a doctor, okay? She was studying. She was studying because she wanted to be a doctor. Okay. Mi mamá estaba estudiando para ser doctora. Okay. My mother wasn't a doctor. Let's say my mother wasn't a doctor. Let me see. Twenty years ago. Now she is a doctor. 
Okay, because she was in the process. She was in process. The mother wasn't a doctor. Now she is a doctor. You know, this is additional. This is additional. Additional. What I want to see is how it contrasts. Okay. Another example. Uh, my best friend wasn't in Korea yesterday. My friend, my best friend wasn't in Korea yesterday. Okay. Or they weren't in Italy last weekend. This is the way we structure negative form. Any questions, guys? The parts are good. Let me see. I will ask you, I will ask some people. Um, Ernesto, can you give us an example in affirmative form? In affirmative form, I, I was in, I was in, in school in 1984. Oh, okay. 1994, right? 94, perdón. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Okay, Ernesto was, listen, was at school. And 1994. 1994. Ernesto was at school in 1994. Exactly. That is the way. Ernesto? That's yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Jennifer from Candy, give an example in negative. Jennifer, give me an example in negative form. Can you hear me, Jennifer? Let's put you. Okay, Joanna, give me an example in negative. In negative, okay. Uh, solo una pregunta. Sure. I wasn't y weren't es para plural y singular. Good question. Let me explain that. Uh, with the follow with the following okay. pronouns, with the following pronouns, I, he, he, it, we use was or wasn't. Mm -hmm. With you, we. And they use were or weren't. Good question. Oh, okay. Weren't. Okay, ahí me había confundido ahorita. Good. Okay. Thank you, thank you for asking. Okay, it will be um, my brother. My brother uh, was in to work at. Uh, a doc. Okay, repeat again. Uh, my brother uh, wasn't. Wasn't. Work. Oh, I think you want to say working. Estaba trabajando. Okay, good. Working. Working. Yeah, All right. Uh, a restaurant. Oh, okay. At a restaurant. Good. A restaurant. You say a restaurant, sorry? Restaurant? Me dijo restaurant? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> good, 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 sorry. Good, okay, listen. Yes, yes. 
Very good. Listen, and this the, the example is good, Joanna. El ejemplo está muy bien. Solo una cosita. This is past progressive. Or past continuous. Right progressive, teacher, es progressive por el working. Exactly. Por el working. Exactly. Because we use the verse in 94. Yes, y si ella, como ella dijo, what's work, what's it work, no, no funciona así. What's what's it working, what's it working. But listen, no quiero que nos confundamos. Eso, lo, como lo dije ayer, lo vamos a ver más adelante. Okay. Es como en español, va, porque dice trabajando, va. Estaba laborando, trabajando, yeah. Uh -huh. But listen, let me, let me change uh, just this part, Joanna. Mm -hmm. My jo, my brother wasn't at a restaurant, but now is a puzzle B. Puzzle B. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, you can say my brother wasn't working at a restaurant. Puede decirlo, puede decir esa idea. Claro que sí. Pero en ese español ser... sería. Uh, this example. En español sería, mi hermano estaba en un restaurante nada más. No estaba. No estaba. Exactly. Okay. That is the way. That is equivalence okay. in, in Spanish. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Be careful. Just be careful. You're welcome. Solo seamos cuidados. No hay ningún problema. No hay ningún problema. Um, porque eso ya es el pasado continuo. Has continuous. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Pero me gusta que vayamos dando ejemplos así. Porque ya se, ya se van familiarizando con el tema. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Bueno, we have some moment. But this is a nice example. Thank you, John. Joanna's brother wasn't at a restaurant. Good. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I will listen to Jorge Espinosa. Jorge Espinosa, give me an example. I don't know, in affirmative or negative. You decide. Mm -hmm. Affirmative or negative? Okay. Can you listen to me, Jorge? Me escucha? Si hay problemas, recuerden, solo háganmelo saber. I'm going to select somebody else. So we'll go with Alberto. Alberto, give me an example. Affirmative or negative. Hola, hola. Okay. Can you give me an example in affirmative or negative? Can you give me an example? My sister. Oh. My sister. Sería wasn't. Wasn't, okay. Yeah, my sister wasn't. At, at school. Exactly, okay. Excellent. Alberto's sister wasn't at school. If you want to add more information, um, Alberto, you can say, for example, Alberto, my sister, sorry, was in a school uh, last year. Last year, because of the pandemic, COVID 19. My sister was in a school last year. Okay. Okay, Gilberto, that's a nice example. Okay. okay. I will listen to Bessie Avalos. Bessie, can you give me an example? In affirmative or negative? Um. I wasn't, I wasn't in my house yesterday. Good. I wasn't in my house yesterday. Exactly. Bessie wasn't in my house yesterday. That is the way you write, Miss Bessie. That is the way you write your name, right? Let me see. Is it a form of commercial skills in number? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. 
That's a good example. What do with Tepartillo? Give me an example, please. Um, I was in my mother's house yesterday. Exactly. I was in my mother's house yesterday. That's what Jose said. Jose was in his mother's house yesterday. Glenn? I want to listen to Carla, Carla Ranados. Give me an example. Wasn't sick yesterday. Wasn't, you say wasn't, right? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Carla wasn't sick. Excellent. And let me see, I will listen to somebody else. Um, Ivan, please, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we weren't old friends. Oh, okay. We weren't old friends. We weren't old friends. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Sure. Cuando, no, yeah. dice, cuando dice we were old friends, es, no éramos amigos. Antes no éramos amigos. Exactly. Oh, For okay. example, okay. let's say in 2011, we weren't old friends in 2011, or last year, for example. And you started that relationship with your friends. Mm -hmm. En el pasado no, no eran amigos, pero iniciaron esa relación de amigos hace un momento. El tiempo atrás, etc. Teacher, y, y, y el all que le he puesto ahí no sería solo oh. we weren't friends. You can include all if you want. You can say just friends. It's okay. Se puede incluir mm -hmm. como todos los de su grupo. ¿Se puede incluir yeah. o se puede omitir? Yeah. For, okay. for example, teacher, for example, yeah. we were all friends in two, 2011, but now we are friends. Yeah, but now we are friends. Or it okay. could be like... But we are friends since 2012. Let's say in that way. It's we were cool. friends in 2011, but we are friends since 2011, 12, 2012. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, listen, I'm gonna give you more examples. Here we have more examples in positive negative form. In positive we have he was ill, he was happy, he was cold, you were late, we were angry, and they were at home. That is an affirmative form. And as you can see, we follow the structure. Stop, get, plus, plus, or where, which is a word to be. Finally, we have to complement. The negative form, the same, but you know that we use a verse negative form wasn't or weren't, or we can use the long form, right? Was not or were not. For example, he was not ill or he wasn't ill. He was not happy or wasn't happy. It was not cold or it wasn't cold. You were not late or you weren't late. You we're not angry or we weren't angry. And the last one, we were not home, or they weren't home, okay? So again, this is the way we talk about the past, typically with the verb be. okay? Any questions? The meaning of ill is enfermedad. It's, it's similar to, to sick. You can say sick, sick. or ill. Oh, sick or ill. I was sick. Or you can say ill. Ill. 
That is another way to say. That is another synonym. Es otra forma de decir que, que estoy enfermo, por ejemplo. Ill. El inglés tiene esa característica que hay diferentes, bueno, el español también, pero en el inglés se, se ve muy bien a, a menudo es que hay diferentes sinónimos. Uh -huh. Illness, disease. Exactly. That is another one. You say illness, or you say disease. Disease. Okay, so you're talking about cancer, about. Um, I don't know. Well, as we said in the, in the previous classes, right? Headache, stomachache, old toothache. Exactly, toothache, toothache, etc. So those are illnesses or diseases. Okay, over time, questions? Preguntas? Dudas? Comentarios? Si alguien quiere proporcionar un ejemplo, the, claro, no the, the, the teacher, the statement, it was cold, is like uh, oh, the weather. It's like exactly, the weather. Exactly. It was cold, is different. Yeah, you say, I was cold, right? I was cold, different. I was cold, I'm referring to, let me see. I would say a feeling. Feeling or... Uh, lower temperature. Exactly, exactly. And it, it was cold, we're referring to a weather condition. Weather condition. Okay, okay. Any more questions? Preguntas, dudas. Si gustan, darme un ejemplo. Gusto. Feel free to do it. For example, by the way, I want to listen to more, more examples. Examples? Volunteers? You can raise your hand or you can switch on the microphone. Feel free to do it. Volunteers or victims? What do you prefer? <laughs> victims. Victims, okay, nice. <laughs> Let's go. I'll listen to Del Delmi. Delmi? Uh, negative or positive? It's up to you. If you want affirmative, positive, or negative. Okay. <clears throat> uh, my sister wasn't. Wasn't? In the park yesterday. Okay. Park yesterday. Okay, yeah, I like it. Thank you. Tell me, do me a favor. Select someone. Okay. Someone that <laughs> has <laughs> someone that hasn't participated yeah. yet. Alguien que no participa. Oh. Another victim. Eh, vamos yeah. a ver. Eh, César. César Martínez o Ariola. Edilberto. Edil Edilberto, ok. Please, César. Um, I was student, uh, Taekwondo student. Uh, oh. Year ago. Ok, bien. Yeah. Now I am a, a sorry. I am a yellow ribbon ribbon. Okay. Okay. Can you spell it? Can you spell it? Lo puede yellow, yellow yellow yeah. ribbon. Oh yeah, like this. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. Yesterday was a Taekwondo student. Now he is a yellow ribbon. Excellent. Good. 
Teresa, select somebody else. Someone that hasn't participated yet. Que no ha participado. Tenemos varios. Can I guess this? Okay, yo cojo, teacher. Yes, please. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, uh, we have Dalila, Antonia uh, Garcia. Okay, so, yeah. Let's okay. go with Dalila. Thank you. Give us an example, Dalila, in affirmative or negative. Mm. Um, my daughter. My. My daughter. This. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Continue. Continue. Sorry. Yeah. My daughter does not like to visit my doctor. Oh. Okay. They wasn't. Oh. They wasn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wasn't not like to visit a doctor. Okay. I think in this way, right? In this way. Mm -hmm. My daughter wasn't going to the doctor yesterday, mm -hmm. last week, etc. Listen, the, um, the example is correct. The example is correct. But again, Valida, this is past progressive. El ejemplo está muy bien, solo que en ese caso estamos utilizando otro tiempo verbal. Past progressive. Past progressive. And we're using the past B. How can, how can we transform the same example, the same example, in another way? In this case, for the past B. ¿Cómo podemos transformar o convertir esa oración con el verbo to be en pasado. It will be Dalida Tauter wasn't to the hospital. Oh, okay. Nice. Wasn't in the hospital. Good. Excellent. Okay, this, this can be the way in Dalida. Better for me, Dalida. My daughter Repita después de mí, Dalila. My daughter. My daughter. My daughter. My daughter. 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 My daughter. Daughter. Wasn't in the hospital. Wasn't in the hospital. Exactly. So now is the pass In the B. hospital. In the hospital. How is the pass of B? Yes. Very good. Thank you, Dalida and Joanna. I will go with my last participant. I will select Karen Carvalho. Can you give me an example? I was a student 12 years ago. Now I am pharmaceutical chemistry. Oh, okay. Now you are? I am pharmaceutical chemistry. Okay. Chemist. It's chemist. Sí. Pharmaceutical chemist. Yes. Very good. I was a student 12 years ago. Now I am a pharmaceutical student. Chemist. Sorry. Chemist. Repeat again, Karen. I was a student. I was a student. 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Now. Now. I am. I am. A pharmaceutical chemist. A pharmaceutical chemist. 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 Yes. Very good. Excellent. Karen was a student 12 years ago. Now she is a pharmaceutical chemist. Excellent. That's a nice example. Okay. Well, again, 
questions guys so as a big yeah all is clear thank you okay now it's time to practice now it's your turn what i'm going to do i need you to look at the statements provided and in your notebooks rewrite the sentences in the simple part specifically the past of being listen all the statements are in the simple present simple present what you have to do is to rewrite the sentences, the same sentences in the simple part. It has to be. Okay? Vamos a escribir las mismas oraciones en pasado. Están en presente. Okay. Now I'm in past. Let me help you with the first one. I am late for school. That is in the present. In the past. Say. I, I was yeah. late. I was late for I was late for school. Play for school. That's what you have to do. You have to rewrite the sentences in the simple words. Okay. Any questions? Preguntas? Good. Okay. Listen. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes in your notebooks. Rewrite the sentences with the correct form that it has to be. Les daré un par de minutos. Escribamos las oraciones en sus cuadernos, como pasada. And once you finish, remember, raise your hand. Una vez hayamos terminado, levantemos nuestra mano o solamente me confío. Let's go. Por cierto, aquí en, quien ingresó a la reunión, no lo puse en lista. Todos somos los mismos, no hay más entrado. Okay, continue. Let's go. It's done. Good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Nessa. Next week, next Monday, we're going to talk about questions. Question ones. With the class of B.
Is that my name? Thank you, Carla. You got him. Hands. Los barrientos. Thank you, Anna. Thanks, Joanna. Thank you, Jose. Garcia, Sahel, Flores, and Carla Rosa. Somebody else finished? Yes, it's a... Okay. We're going to begin with the discussion of these exercises. We are supposed to rewrite the sentences in the simple path because all of them are in the simple present. Okay. The first one we discuss it and we said I am late to school is it the present of B. I am late for school. In this as B we say I was late for school because the same is in affirmative Let's go with number two. I will listen to Eliana. Number two. He was in 17. Yeah. The famous says in, in, in present, he isn't 17. Then I said he wasn't 17. Exactly. Let's go with number three. I'll go for number three. The students went to school. Okay. Is it again? Can you repeat again? 
Vai repetir outra vez? É isso? Ok. The students went at school. Yeah, exactly. So, in present, the statement says the students aren't at school. As one we say, the students weren't at school. Weren't at school. Excellent. Let's go to number four. Cesar Martinez, please help me. Yeah. Um, Lisa was a teacher. Lisa was a teacher, yes. Lisa is a teacher, but it's in the present. In the past one, Lisa was a teacher. Very good. Number five, Hanson. Um, uh, the number five is Sam was sick. Exactly. Sam was, was sick. Sorry. Sam was sick. Sam is sick. It's in the present. As far, Sam was sick. Number six, listen to Elena. My friend wasn't in Japan. In Japan. In Japan. In Japan. In Japan. Yes. In Japan. Good. My friend wasn't in Japan. In Japan. Excellent. My friend wasn't in Japan. Number seven, Claudia. She was happy. She was happy, yes. She is happy. Is in the present form. He was happy. It's a simple fact. Has a be. And the last one, number eight, I will listen to Carla Rivera. Carla Rivera, ready? Can you hear me, Carla? Yeah, can you hear me? Okay, I'm going to select Karen Flores, please. Yes, teacher. My parents weren't at home. Exactly. My parents weren't at home. My parents aren't at home, but it's in the simple present. Right, the present of B and the, the past of B is my parents weren't at home. Okay. Well, guys, any questions about these exercises? Preguntas? Dudas? Comentarios? Algo que no ha quedado claro? You can ask me. Is everything clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, listen. Good, listen. I remember what I wanted to tell you, you know, um, I would say some minutes ago. Recordé lo que iba a decirles. Y es con respecto a esto. Here you have a list of verse, the common verse, in this case, regular, that you can use. So please take a screenshot, take a photo. Tenemos una captura, so some variables comunes. Vamos a empezar con estos. Verbos regulares. Tenemos una captura. Y vamos con los siguientes, que son verbos regulares. Son verbos comunes. Vamos con eso, recuerden, vayamos despacio, de 5 sí, en 5. compartieron, Roy. Thank you. Vayamos despacio, no aprendamos, no aprendamos solo los verbos de un solo. ¿Qué la tienen para practicar? Verbos comunes. Um, 
en este caso refiriéndonos a Simple Plans. ¿Okay? ¿Preguntas nuevamente? ¿Dudas? ¿Qué sería este Pass Participle? ¿Qué, oh. ¿qué, qué, qué se, the qué Pass Participle, yeah, the Pass Participle is for other tenses. El verbo pasado participo se utiliza para otros, para otros simples verbales. Por ejemplo. Yeah, sure. Por ejemplo, uh, the perfect tenses. Perfect tenses. Present perfect, past perfect, future perfect. And we use it for past voice. Utilizamos para los tiempos perfectos, presente perfecto, el pasado perfecto, y para passables, que es la voz pasiva. Se utiliza esa forma. ¿Y ¿Cómo sería en español, digamos, el pasado? Perfecto, en, en, en español se conocen diferentes, pero son, es que tenemos, en español tenemos los diferentes tiempos verbales, tenemos más tiempos verbales. En inglés. Ah, ok. Estamos seguros de cuánto. Siempre, es... siempre, siempre se está hablando del pasado. Sí. Mm, dependiendo. Dependiendo. Okay. Because. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we have the present perfect, for example. The present perfect, uh, the most common use of the present perfect class is experiences. Experiences. For example, let me give an example. When you say, I have gone. To say Rotan before. This is an experience that you had. And yeah, it mm. started it started in the past. And probably in the present you continue. You continue with that experience because you can travel the place again. You can visit the place again. So these are experiences. You see some in pasado, you know, see. Porque ocurrieron en un, eh, en un tiempo pasado. Pero. Es este, como. Eh, yo viví esa experiencia de Rodatán antes. En este caso, we use the past participle. Con is the past participle of go. Go. Con. Pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Okay. Es que, ah, más ok. Ah, ok, ok. En eh, español. Es solo una pregunta. Curiosidad. No, no, no se preocupe, claro. Saben qué preguntan. Tienen curiosidad de, de, de eso, de los verbos, por ejemplo, en principio. Ya saben que vayamos preguntando desde ya para que nos vayamos preparando. Eso lo vamos a hacer más adelante. Ya. Yeah. Y eso se conoce en español con los tiempos pretéritos. Pretéritos, cuando decimos. Um, sí, por, por ejemplo, como cuando le dicen, eh, ya existe la tarea y uno dice todo. But that is different. That is different because that is casi boys. Okay. For example, the hunger, the hunger is done. The hunger is done. So this okay. is pa this is passive boys. Passive boys. The language passive. Done is the past participle of do. Do. Okay. The language passive. This is another tema parte. Lo vamos a ver también. Okay. Alguien más preguntas? Teacher, could you uh, uh, could the, the order this one? Or picture? Picture. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. The about the the, the regular bird. Yeah. Please. Okay, preguntas, dudas. No? Everything here? Everything teacher. Yeah. Okay, uh listen, we're going to start right here because it's time. Uh some announcements. Unos anuncios. Uh no se nos olvide enviar el formato. Hola. Antes posible. Para que no se nos vaya a olvidar, recuerden que el fin de semana pasa volando y a veces estamos en las actividades, etc. Entonces se nos va a olvidar. Y el lunes, igual, a veces se nos olvida, hay muchas cosas que hacer. Entonces, les recomiendo que lo enviemos lo antes posible, lo posible mañana. Que no lo hemos enviado. Ya lo enviamos bien. 
para la plataforma. Sigamos trabajando fin de semana. Si la completamos fin de semana, excelente. Si no, podemos hacer más. ¿eh? Ah, ¿Qué más? Solamente eso. El próximo miércoles terminamos, ¿de acuerdo? Iniciamos la semana cuatro horas, pero no vamos a meter eso. Así que, oh, stop for today, everybody. Thank you so much for being here during the whole week. Okay, from Monday to Thursday, we will continue next week. Next Monday, we will continue with a new class. And of course, I'm going to be with you, okay? Everybody, thank you so much. Have a good night. Thanks. I'll see you Bye, next teacher. week. Have good a good weekend. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Here's on.